This Christmas, Kit Guru has prepared a series of short videos titled Best Of. This is the Best Of CPU video, and I'm wearing my Intel jumper. And I've had enough of this hat. The reason I'm giving Intel this massive amount of publicity is that when they launched their 12th gen Alder Lake processors, we weren't necessarily expecting them to be great. We were hoping they would be good. As it turns out, they have surpassed themselves. Not with the Core i9. However, the Core i5 gets the KitGuru Best Budget CPU of 2021. And believe you me, I'm as surprised to say those words as you are to hear them. 12th Gen Order Lake, to give you a quick recap, it's Intel's new platform, uses a new socket LGA 1700. It has a hybrid architecture. It uses a new chipset, just as you'd expect. That's their 600 series, which at the moment means Z690. The budget chipsets are coming soon. And it supports both DDR4 and DDR5 memory, along with PCI Express Gen 5. And yes, you're quite correct at the moment, there are no PCI Express Gen 5 devices around. So the Core i5 12600K is new in all manner of respects, including the core configuration. It combines performance cores and efficient cores. On paper, it looks interesting. When it actually comes to performance, it's a belter. As we showed in our review of the Core i5 12600K, when you look at pure CPU tasks, just look at how the new Core i5 performs relative to previous Core i5s and also previous Core i7s and even Core i9s. Also, look at how the Core i5 compares to AMD Ryzen 7. This budget processor, which was listed at £270 at launch, but now has mysteriously gone to £290, I'm not the least bit surprised to see it's in high demand because it's performing way better than is decent for a budget processor. On auto, it's good. When you overclock it, you can easily run this processor at five gigahertz, basically an extra 10% free of charge. At that point, it is certainly using more power than auto, but it's still perfectly manageable. When you look at our technical charts showing power draw and thermals, it's easy to see the new Core i5-12600K it's a little pussycat of a processor, but the performance is something to behold. The Core i5-12600K offers excellent gaming performance and good all-round performance for a price of around £300. But if you step up to the Core i7-12700K, which launched at £420 and today is available for £389, you are only stepping up £100, you're gaining two performance cores, you've now got eight performance cores, four efficient cores, compared to the Core i9-12900K, which has eight performance cores and eight efficient cores. Sounds like a really small detail change, but that Core i9 passes the £600 mark. It's a lot of money, and it's a hot and juicy beast. The Core i7-12700K is a slightly cut down Core i9 that offers most of the performance for a lot less money. Naturally, the Core i7 packs in all the features that we expect from Intel 12th gen. We're looking here specifically at the differences between Core i7, Core i9, and Core i5 in terms of performance, power, heat, and pricing. And on those metrics, the Core i7 does a very fine job. When it comes to gaming, the Core i5 works really well. The Core i7 is slightly better suited to heavy processor jobs. For example, Blender and Cinebench. You'll see the Core i9 still beats it, but the margins are tight. And for two thirds of the price, the Core i7 does a very fine job. Considering you've probably spent a small fortune on Z690 motherboard and some DDR5 memory, you're likely to want to save cash where you can. And 200 pounds or so on your processor is a serious chunk of change. And that's the reason why the Core i7 12700K gets Kit Guru's vote for mid-range processor 2021. What about the high end? Well, that's still held by AMD's Ryzen 9. I'm going to hand you over to Luke to tell you more. Thanks, Leo. Or should that be, thanks, Leo, in my best American accent, you know exactly what I'm referring to there. When it comes to high-end processors that you would actually want to own in today's market, 
we think that AMD still does a really good job. Yes, the Core i9-12900K would have been a perfectly good choice for our high-end option. It does, after all, offer pretty much the best gaming performance of any CPU in the majority of tests in reality. And we could have even gone with the 24, 32 or 64 core Threadripper chips, even though they are using the older Zen 2 architecture. But as far as we're concerned, we still think that the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X is the best overall high-end chip. And let's see why. Focusing first on performance, it really is a case of back and forth between the Ryzen 9 5950X and the Core i9-12900K in terms of productivity-based numbers. Some applications prefer the AMD architecture, and some scale well on the Intel chip with its DDR5 memory. And as already noted, the Intel chip does tend to be a little bit quicker when it comes to gaming applications, and that's something that's not to be downplayed, though if you're using a 1440p or 4K monitor with a sensible graphics card on the market today, you're probably not going to really notice too much difference between those two chips, even though the Intel one is technically faster in a lot of the scenarios. Where AMD's 32-thread Zen 3 option really asserts its dominance, though, is in terms of power and thermals. Using TSMC's 7 nanometer process node, which still looks to be far superior to the Intel 7 process technology that the competitor is using, AMD achieves its levels of performance with significantly lower power numbers. This not only reduces the reliance on highly specced VRM solutions, beefier power supplies, and less space constraint mini ITX chassis, but it also creates far fewer headaches when it comes to thermal management of the processor. It's not unusual to see the Intel Core i9-12900K running well over 90 degrees Celsius, even with hefty 360mm all-in-one liquid coolers, whereas AMD's alternative will often grind along well below 70 degrees Celsius on those same coolers. Clearly, dumping less heat into the cooling solutions also has general benefits from overall usability perspectives. Clearly, lower fan speeds can be used, and therefore the noise is going to be lower and more tolerable. But it does also mean that you can save money on your chosen cooling solution, because the AMD chip just simply doesn't need as beefy a cooler as this Intel competitor. And that smart allocation of budget point holds true when looking at the overall platform for AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X. Yes, the CPU itself is a little under £700 in the UK now, making it around £100 more expensive than the Core i9-12900K. But AMD's secret weapon is its outstanding platform options. Of course, there's the fact that this Ryzen 9 chip is a drop-in upgrade that is very simple to do for many existing AM4 users. Plus, B550 still makes a lot of sense for even high-end Ryzen 9 buyers. Genuinely good motherboards based on that chipset, including PCIe Gen 4 capability, are easily obtainable for £140 or less. By comparison, you're probably looking at about £200 plus for decent Z690 options. And of course, the introduction of AMD's X570S silent or passive cooled motherboards from the partners also means that the X570 platform can now compete pretty reasonably against Z690 in the upper mid-range and high-end solutions. That's provided you don't want PCIe Gen 5 or DDR5 capability, of course, but both of those points are kind of non-existent in today's market, but hopefully we will see availability improve soon. So I guess if we conclude our pick of the high-end CPU that we still think is a fantastic choice in late 2021, the Ryzen 9 5950X is competitive versus the Intel Core i9-12900K. There are ample, high-quality, high-performance, and even budget M4 motherboard options available, and the chip certainly is preferential when it comes to power management and thermal numbers versus the 12900K that it competes with. Those factors all combine nicely to make the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X our preferred go-to option in the high-end CPU market currently. So there we have it. Core i5-12600K is our favorite budget or affordable CPU option, and by quite some margin, that is a fantastic processor. We like the Core i7-12700K for a mid-range option, and then at the high end, despite some stiff competition from the Core i9-12900K in terms of all-out performance, we still like the balance that AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X offers, and the overall package that it brings with it. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Would your go-to options be similar to ours? And will your opinion differ when Intel's affordable motherboards hit the market and DDR5 availability starts to improve? Let us know in the comments section down below. I've been Luke Hill for Kick Guru, working on this video alongside Leo Waldorf for Kick Guru. As always, check out the main website that already supports us and check out more of our best on videos.